mockery of day five of the Anthony Kirkland resentencing is emotional, very emotional testimony. Nine on your side's Tom McKee tells us what we can expect tomorrow in this high profile case. The emotional words in the Anthony Kirkland resentencing hearing Thursday came from the mother of one of his victims and the father of another. Police detectives filled in the blanks on his crime spree and how they cracked the case. Kirkland murdered four young women and burned their bodies in a crime spree from 2006 through 2009. One of them was 13 year old Esme Kinney. Can you identify that person? That's my daughter Esme. The teenager was killed as she jogged around a Winton Hills reservoir. She was a total joy. Um, just had a bubbly personality and um, loved people. Just excited to be alive. Another was 25 year old Kimya Rollison. You identify that, sir? It's my daughter. How old was she approximately when that was taken? <laughs> Actually, we didn't take that. Uh, she was about 20. Her father, Gary, said she disappeared in 2006 and her skeletal remains were found two and a half years later. She was a very bright child. She was very much uh, outgoing, fun-loving, if you will. Detective Jennifer Mitch was part of the team that identified Kimya after Kirkland confessed to his crimes. He told us um, that her name was Kim, that she had a long last name, that uh, she was a prostitute that frequented the area of Burton Avenue in North uh, Avondale. Detective Keith Witherall and his partner Bill Hilbert were tasked with doing that interview when Esme Kenny was missing but before she was found dead. My theme was essentially, um, you're a father, I've got kids, um, you know, let's join forces, let's work together and let's reunite this child back to back to her father, back to her mother. Jurors heard the first part of what will be eight hours of testimony from that interview. Kirkland falsely claiming he found Esme's watch and iPad. So what do you what do you do when you when you see these items? I pick them up. Okay. And then what do you do? Mm -hmm. Put the watch in the pocket. Playing the remainder of that eight hour statement is going to take all of Friday and most of the testimony on Monday. Tom McKee at the Hamilton County Courthouse downtown.